The list of victims to Russian hackers is long, from major banks like JP Morgan Chase to international organizations like NATO. Russian-based hackers have breached cybersecurity countless times over the past number of years. A recent report from a U.S.-based security firm has found that Russian hackers have spied on targets of interest to the Russian government. In today's press review for Ukraine Today, we're going to take a look at what some of the international press have been writing about this story. So first, we turn to The Guardian. They run their headline reading, State-sponsored Russian hacker group linked to cyber attacks on neighbors. Tom Fox Brewster highlights the report by U.S. security firm FireEye that states the hacker group called APT28 has targeted various countries across Eastern Europe, including Georgia and even NATO. Fox Brewster cites an interesting aspect of the report which states that the software hackers were using the Russian language they were using and the fact that they operated during Russian business hours suggests that the Russian government has been the sponsor of these hackers. So next, we turn to the Huffington Post. There, Jerry Smith writes, Some of the most sophisticated hackers in the world may be taking orders from one of the U.S. government's biggest adversaries, Russian President Vladimir Putin. Smith cites the FireEye report, which indicates that not all Russian hackers are motivated solely by money. Instead, some of them are using their hacking skills to help the Russian government collect sensitive information on their adversaries. And finally, we turn to Bloomberg Business for the final perspective. They take a more cautionary tone with their headline, writing that the hacking group may be linked to the Russian government. That's according to the FireEye report that I've already mentioned. They do, however, state the fact that a group of hackers known as APT28 has been collecting intelligence that would be only useful to a government. Although many details still remain fuzzy and no direct link to the Russian government can so far be made, it seems many analysts are reading between the lines.